Hey there, if you're new to the channel, welcome. And if you're coming back, thanks for your support. I recently got a surprise package in the mail from the folks over at Boost Plant. And inside it contained five various types of Boosophilandra. This package was completely unexpected, so I realized I had to act fast. And I figured I might as well build a tank and put all those plants inside. Now, even though this package came as a surprise, it couldn't have come at a better time. For the last two weeks or so, I've had a UNS 16C tank sitting on my desk completely unoccupied, and I haven't figured out what I wanted to do with it. So with the 16C sitting empty on my desk, I figured why not make an easy nano tank with epiphyte only plants. Let's get started. Now, having been in the hobby for three years, I've collected a lot of hardscape over that time. In fact, I literally have an entire closet dedicated to aquascaping. In one of my recent builds, it was a cat safe aquarium with a UNS 16S. I used wolf stone for the very first time. I still had some spare stone left over from that build, so I figured why not use it again? If you haven't seen that video of building a cat safe aquarium, I'll link it somewhere here on the screen and also down below in the description. Now I didn't want to use just stone, so I grabbed some small pieces of Malaysian driftwood that I also had in my closet. And I'll be combining that with the wolf stone for today's hardscape. I think one of the most challenging things that I'm gonna face during this build is the fact that this is a 16C. There's not a lot of room to work with in this setup. It's six inches wide by six inches tall by six inches deep. So there's not a lot of room to work with. Now, because this tank is so small, I'll be using the ONF Flat Nano Plus as my light for this system. I have it on one of my smaller tanks, the UNS 16S, which houses my cat safe aquarium. I'm very fortunate to have two of these lights in my collection. I absolutely love them. I think they're one of the best nano lights on the market. So if you're interested in seeing it for yourself, you can check it out in the link in the description below. So let's get this light unboxed and put it all together. I think one of my favorite things about this light is the fact that it's entirely app controlled. So you control everything from the intensity to the sunrise and sunset directly from your phone. It's got a super sweet sunrise and sunset feature that's super smooth in its transition. So you never have to worry about stressing out your fish. So now that we've got the light, the glass, the plants, and the hardscape all picked out, it's time to put it all together. Now, since this is an epiphyte only tank, I'll be using the UNS Contrasand Mojave as my substrate. The hardscape structure in this build is pretty tall on its own. So for the substrate, I'm not gonna slope it that much. I'm just gonna make a flat layer 
that I can set the rocks and wood on top of. I guess you can call this a bit of a pro tip, but whenever I'm working on hardscape, I like to lay it out and try to put it together inside the lid that the tank comes with. These lids are precisely the same dimensions as the tank, so it allows you to kind of tweak the hardscape and mess around with it before you put it inside the glass. I guess you could just call it a budget-friendly dojo that comes with every tank you buy. So when putting together this hardscape, I wanted to combine the wood and stone in a way that created some flow, but also showed a vertical aspect coming up out of the tank, all while maintaining several spots where I can put all the boosts of Flandra. After I got the hardscape in, I realized I do want a little bit of a slope in the back. So I used my wife's funnel out of her kitchen. Don't tell her I did this. But this allowed me to pour the sand directly into specific areas where I couldn't exactly get my tools. Next thing I had to do was to secure the hardscape. So I grabbed a couple pieces of paper towel and with my tweezers, I stuck them between the rocks and the wood. This would allow me to pour liquid super glue on top of the paper towels, and it just forms a bond that is incredibly strong and very difficult to break, and it will hold the hardscape all in one spot. One thing to note is that you should really wear gloves when applying the liquid super glue. It dries instantly, so if you get it on your skin, it's very difficult to get off. After a couple seconds, the hardscape was completely attached. In fact, shaking it around caused me to shake the entire stand. With the hardscape secure, it was time to get out the plants and prepare them for planting. Once the tank was all planted, it was time to get out my watering can and very gently fill this tank up. I didn't glue any of the epiphytes down, so I wanted to fill it very slowly and carefully. As a final touch, I added some alder cones from Beta Botanicals just to give a couple more details in this scape. So that's it for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed the build. If you're not subscribed to the channel already, go ahead and do so. And as always, 
I'll see you in the next one.